So the WNBA draft order has just been released, a.k.a. solved, a.k.a. whatever you want to call it. And the Atlanta Dream have the 12th, has the 12th pick. So in this video, I am going to tell you some potential options for the Atlanta Dream in this pick. So stay tuned. As we know, the Atlanta Dream needs some front court depth. They got the guards. They got Ryan Howard. They got Alicia Gray. And they even got, I, I wouldn't consider Cheyenne Parker a guard, but they need another force down below in the paint to get rebounds, to play defense. And in this draft, there are some very viable options for the Atlanta Dream to pick up. I know I just said there's a lot of viable options at number 12. And I know the Atlanta Dream just traded off the eighth pick. But figure out a way to move back up and get Angel Reese. I think this will solve all of the problems that the Atlanta Dream have. Number one, Angel Reese can defend. She can play defense. She can get rebounds. But she can also get to the rim easy. And that's what the Atlanta Dream need. She's a baller. She's averaging a double-double, 19 and 12. She's a proven winner. She got that dog in her. And she would fit perfectly with the current Atlanta Dream roster. She would fit very well alongside Cheyenne Parker. It'd be that one-two front court punch. And I don't think we would have to give up a lot to get there. She's a baller, like I said, and there's going to be so much attention on Caitlin Clark and figuring out a way to stop Caitlin Clark. I think Angel Reese will slide a little bit. And that's just my honest opinion. Now, let's just say Angel Reese is not available, which probably will be the option. Experts say she'll go up from either four to six. So, I mean, that's a lot of capital we have to give up on our end to pick her up. But let's just say she's not available. My second viable option will be Virginia Tech Center, Elizabeth Kitley. Now, this individual, she is 6'6". Six, six. She is big, strong, physical. She can score. She averaged 22 points per game, 11.8 rebounds, averaging a double-double like Angel Reese. Also, Elizabeth Kitley can go along well with Cheyenne Parker, the positives and what experts are really saying about Elizabeth is that she is the only true center coming out in this draft. And this is a need for the Atlanta Dream. They need a strong physical presence, a tall presence who can defend, who can block shots, who can rebound, who can set that pick, but also can play along with Cheyenne Parker. And so that is my number two option for the Atlanta Dream at 12, experts say we probably won't have to get, go up any. She will be there for us available. Let's take her. We'll move on. Now, my third option. This one's kind of off the beaten path because this is a European player. Um, there's not much on her. We, we haven't seen her in the States play, but that's all right. She is a baller. And sorry, I may pronounce her name, mispronounce her name, but it is Nadu. Pooch. Now, I will put this on the screen. I may totally have pronounced, totally have botched her name, but here's the third option. Now, she may be a little bit of slight of, slight of frame at 6'3", but she is an elite defender. And if you want someone that can play along, I know I'm always talking about playing along with Cheyenne Parker, but if you want someone who can play along with Cheyenne Parker, defend at a high clip, is athletic, can get rebounds, can push the pace. This individual's for you. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to say her name one more time. I may botch it, but Nadu, Nadao Pooch. There you go. And I, I could be totally wrong, but those are my three options for the Atlanta Dream. This upcoming WNBA draft, we need depth at the center position. And those three options give us plenty of depth there. I will say, 
I think I want Angel Reese, but I don't think she'll be there, especially as the more she plays, the more her draft stock rises. But I think an honest, viable option is definitely Elizabeth Kitely or Kitley, 6'6, true center position, can play, can screen, can roll, can score 22 points a game, can rebound, is an all around player. And she can pair well with Cheyenne that I think they need. So those are my options for the Atlanta Dream this year. We'll see. But I'm confident they will make the right option. The right option is not go get Caitlin Clark. I would love to see that, but I just it's not happening. So those are my options for the Atlanta Dream at pick 12. And if you like this content, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you're interested about the WNBA and you want to see what the Hawks are going to do with Trey Young, check this video out right here. And like always, peace.